I am pleased that we finally have a plan to reopen our schools that has been rolled out, but frankly, this plan should have been rolled out months ago. I mean, the damage has already been done, and I'm, I, I guess I'm a little shocked to hear so many of my colleagues talk about the damage that has been done to these students when we've known this damage is being done for months and weeks now. It's been over a year. I have a student in my district, um, and I'd like to share his comments with you if I may. My name is Cameron Southwick, and I am the ASB president of Elsinore High School in Wildemar. This past semester was rough for many students at my high school and other schools. At Elsinore High School, 45% of the freshman class had at least one F in their first semester of high school. It was a hard adjustment for me going from middle school to high school in person back in 2017, and I can't imagine what it's like for the class of 2024. Furthermore, this is their first impression of high school. What are they to expect the rest of their high school careers to be? As for upperclassmen, we have lost over 200 classmates to continuation school, private schools, charter schools, and simply moving out of state. Students from other high schools have mentioned that schools become difficult, tiresome, unmotivational to an extent far beyond what you may see. The depression rate is rising faster than COVID-19 spreads and it is extremely unhealthy for teenagers to be trapped in their rooms for long periods of time. We have lost zero students in our district to COVID-19. However, since the pandemic began, we have lost three students to suicide. To have good health, we need a good physical, mental, and social well-being. Sitting all day working on schoolwork in front of a computer with no communication except through a device is not healthy. It is miserable. I sit back and watch the private and charter schools go to school in person and wonder what's going on. What makes public schools any different? We breathe the same air, shop the same stores, and walk on the same ground. So my question is, what do I tell the students I represent who desire to go back to school as much as I do and who also have to be on Zoom instead of sitting at a desk. What is the justifiable delay? This is just one of many emails that I've received from high school students, and I'm sure uh, many of you in the room have received emails like this as well. So I have to agree um, with my colleague that the governor could go beyond this bill in requiring that these schools open, because as this bill sits right now, it doesn't, we know, require schools to open. But if they do open, they could they could have in-person instruction one day a week. That's that's hardly really much of an improvement. These kids need to be back in school. I I mean I've got three of my own in high school, and I know there's at least probably half of this body who has kids home as well. And you've seen the change that has gone on in these kids. This this bill, I appreciate it, and I appreciate the work that went into it but it just doesn't go far enough. My fear is that we're not going to see kids going back to any type of real um, valuable in-person instruction until next year. That's too late. So I will re be reluctantly voting um, for this bill today as I did in committee, but I wanted to make my comments known and I wanted to share with you how these kids are feeling because as adults, it's been a while since we've been in school, but you really need to hear the pain that these kids are going through in not being able to be with their classmates and be in an in-person environment. Thank you, Mr. President.